Every automatic transmission has an electronic hydraulic actuator or EHS. The EHS on this automatic transmission is defective. You'll have to replace it. There are a number of things to remember. First, remove the oil pan. To do so, remove the four mounting screws. Remove the oil filter and then disconnect the five pin plug from the transmission connector. Now unscrew the 10 screws on the EHS. Once you've removed them all, pull out the control unit. Be careful. Pay particular attention to the transmission connector. It can be very firmly attached. However, if you use the wrong tool or excessive force, the connector can break off. The electronic hydraulic control unit is a sensitive component which is completely restored at the manufacturing plant. As such, it's essential that it arrives there undamaged. That's why you should always try to remove it, first of all without tools. If you can't remove the connector this way, then ensure that you only use a suitable tool. In our case, this flat blade screwdriver. Now you've removed the EHS undamaged. Make sure that you always use the original packaging for the electronic hydraulic control unit when you send it back to the factory. Also make sure that you always refer to the VIS document when performing these repairs. It contains additional information about replacing the EHS.